What's up guys, it's Cedric the Poker Traveler. Thanks for coming back to my channel. I'm a professional card player and I make videos about traveling tournaments, traveling to cash games, and this one is specifically about the World Series and what you're gonna need in your backpack. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you item by item everything that I would normally put in my bag. And if you don't follow me yet, follow me on Instagram for sure. I'm posting daily content on there from the World Series starting today all the way through the next four weeks. Okay, so the first thing, and a lot of people forget this, is remember to bring your players cards. This is a ton of them, I just put them all together. But you're gonna need this to register for the tournament, whether it's at Bally's, whether it's at the Venetian, the Win. You're always gonna need a player's card. It'll save you time if you bring them with you so that you don't have to wait in line at the player's reward center. Now, not everybody will need these, but I need to carry patches for my sponsor, Poker Bros. So if you have a sponsor, make sure to bring these with you. Or if you want some of these, just cause you like playing on the app, find me and I'll get you one. You're probably gonna need cash. Now, don't walk around Vegas carrying cash everywhere. When you first get to the World Series, I suggest going to the cage, depositing money into your tournament buying account, and leaving your cash there so that you could just register for the tournaments from your phone. They also have the ability for you to get a like locker there, like a little vault there for the series, so you don't have to carry cash if you're gonna be playing cash games. But definitely don't forget to bring your cash. Be prepared so that you don't have to be running to your bank or trying to find a local branch if you don't have any there in Las Vegas. Oh, bonus tip. A lot of folks ask me about flying with cash. If you're flying in the United States domestically, you can fly with over $10,000. If anybody asks, the TSA agents ask why you have so much cash on you, just tell them the truth. I mean, you're going to Vegas to play poker, or if you're coming back home and you have a lot of cash because you did very well, just tell them that. You know, I'm a professional card player. I was at the World Series all summer, and this is my money. Okay, so this is a bag, pretty simple. You don't have to have a, a bag like this. This is fireproof, but you can have a plastic bag. Just make sure to collect all your tournament receipts, all your buy-ins in one particular place. It's really important, especially if you cash big this summer. You're gonna wanna write off any of the tournaments that you didn't score in. So keep all your receipts, your buy-in receipts, and even maybe your expenditures for your hotel, your food, all together in one place. I put them in a bag like this and I keep this in my backpack at all times. Okay, now I have a couple of bags here with snacks in them. They include, you know, just snacks for at the table. It also is some stuff specifically for hydration. I'll talk about the ones that are most popular and the ones that I like most. I like carrying these liquid IVs. You just throw one of these into a pack of like a 20 ounce water and it keeps you much more hydrated than just drinking water. It's gonna be like 110 to 112 degrees you know, the majority of this World Series, so it's gonna be really important to stay hydrated. So make sure to have water, but if you need an extra little oomph, grab some of these liquid IVs. I also carry like beef jerky, just for protein, like some snacks in between. I'm gonna eat breakfast, I'm gonna eat lunch, but sometimes the lunch breaks, the dinner breaks, they're not very long, so I carry a lot of snacks on me. So something just like jerkies like this will work. And then I also like these, I basically, they're called That's It. It's like adult fruit roll-ups. They're just basically fruit, apples, strawberry, mango, things like that. And they taste like adult fruit roll-ups. They're really good, so I carry these and snack on them throughout the day. I always carry gum. This is not just for me, but this is to offer to other people. They might be sitting around you. They might be talking too much and not have the freshest of breath. So carry gum, it'll be a lifesaver. Okay, now I don't really use these at the table that often but when I do, it's because I really need them. Carry headphones. I prefer wireless headphones. These are Beats. But just in case you were to run out of battery or something was to happen, I also carry a backup pair, like a wired pair, because sometimes you just want to zone out what's going on at your table. Uh, you might have a really chatty table, and chatty tables are good unless it's bothering you and affecting your game. So it's good to have headphones with you. It's also good for me so that I can record on breaks like updates. It's easier to talk through my headphones for good audio, especially with a lot of people around. Maybe on your breaks you like to just listen to music and just chill, kind of get away from the tables, get away from a lot of people. This is good for that as well. And another reason why you might need headphones is you might not have been to a tournament as big as the World Series. There are going to be hundreds and thousands of tables in these ballroom areas 
and think about every single person shuffling chips at the same exact time. It could be kind of numbing. It's gonna be really loud. It's not just gonna be loud in that area. It's gonna be loud on breaks. It's gonna be loud in the casino floor. So if you're a person that's affected by noise and would just rather zone some of that stuff out, headphones are gonna be great for you. Okay, now this is a twofer. Make sure to bring a battery pack and your phone cord for your phone, whether it's an iPhone or Android, so that you're prepared. You know, these are gonna be long days. You might be playing eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours. The longer you're playing, the better, because that means you're doing well in the tournament but make sure that you have your phone powered down to, to be conserving the battery. Probably not be on it very much anyway because you might be distracted if you're on your phone the entire time. So have your phone powered down, but also have a backup battery and a charger in case you need to plug it in. Also on brakes, make sure to have your, you know, your little plug so that you can just plug in directly to the wall so you're not draining your charger life. This one's gonna be a new addition. I have never carried this before, but thanks to my wife for thinking about it. She ordered it on Amazon. This is, you know, a utensil set. So I'm gonna have my own knife, fork, and spoon for breaks, for if I'm carrying yogurt or fruit, if I just, you know, plastic is pretty terrible, so if I need this during dinner breaks, I can have it and just rinse it off, rinse it in my room at night. But I'm gonna carry this so that I have my own knife, fork, and spoon so I can have my meals. Okay, I know I've already mentioned it's gonna be tremendously hot. I am not good personally in the sun, but if you're gonna get sun, or you're gonna be outside during breaks, or you're gonna be going out during the day when you're not at the tables, carry sunscreen. This one's specifically a spray on. I really like it because it's not greasy. I don't have to put it on my hands. I don't get all dirty. I kind of just spray it on. Make sure to apply it every time you're going, right before you're going out each and every time. It'll help out a ton. The last thing you want is to be sunburned and hurting in your room or hurting at the table because you got too much sun and you're all burnt up. Okay, I also carry hand sanitizer or wipes. I advise carrying both just in case, but this is gonna be really good. There's so many people that are there. There's so many people that are touching chips. Keep your hands clean. Don't put them in your mouth. You're touching cards, you're touching chips. You're around thousands of people. So I wanna sanitize my hands as much as possible or if I can't run to the bathroom, if I just ate and I can't run to the bathroom, I don't have enough time, I use these. Same thing with the hand wipes. It serves the same purpose, but it's just a wipe form. Okay, so I'm just showing you one, but I have a whole bag of medicine. This could be for, your, for headaches antacids, if you're not used to flying, you know, no-dose, something for gas. I mean, you might just wanna be prepared to have all kinds of medicine on hand because you're gonna be busy, you're gonna be at the tables a lot, you're gonna want that with you, and I just keep it in one little bag just in case you need anything for headache or, you know, anything for gas or stomach, just carry that with you, that's gonna be really important. Okay, and most importantly, carry deodorant in your bag. Be considerate of others and yourself it's really, really hot. Don't be stinky at the table. Take tons of showers, but carry deodorant in your bag just in case you're getting hot throughout the day. I've heard some rumors that some of the air conditioning was not working in some of the uh, rooms there at Bally's in Paris. If that's the case, normally my attire of a hoodie and a jacket or a hat is not gonna be in play. Instead, I'm gonna be wearing a t-shirt, having deodorant, and just staying as hydrated as possible. Okay, so that's everything that I put in my backpack for the World Series of Poker. If there's anything that I did not mention that you carry, please comment it down below. It'll help out. Maybe it's something that I just forgot, or maybe it's something that other folks could carry as well that'll be useful. So please do that. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so thanks for sticking to the end of the video, guys. Make sure to follow me, like I said, on Instagram and Twitter. I'll be putting daily updates at the table, chip stacks, how we're doing, how much money we're up, how much money we're down, and just in general, some of the, some of the cool things that we're doing away from the tables, hanging out with friends, grabbing meals, and just getting into kind of cahoots. So make sure to follow along. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be an awesome summer.